what I'm going to share with you is regarding about the importance of uh, real-time security monitoring and it branches out beyond that to analytics as well as threat intelligence. The threat landscape is always evolving, is ever-changing and organizations are trying to face the challenges and trying to grapple to what they can do. In the presentation, I spoke about the real-time monitoring, the importance of it, how analytics can actually help, coupled with the fact that threat intelligence can actually help with the entire ecosystem for organizations to face up to these challenges. As a result, the risks that we know formally within our four wall are no more within our four wall. We do not know the risk of our vendor and we actually rely on our third party. So as a result, we are actually vulnerable to it. The criminals are getting smarter. They are targeting uh, uh, critical assets. And one of the big assets we know are personal data. And data is increasingly becoming an asset. As a result, you can probably see that a lot of companies are starting out, or in fact, a lot of countries are beginning to come up with their own internet regulation. In fact, we call it the balkanization of internet. Data analytics is not only going to be useful for the business and the consumer, increasingly the regulator are going to use data analytics to help them to understand the business, understand the risk, and also go into deeper into analysis of the industry. So tonight, I'm going to give you a practical example of how data analytics can be used in a security operations center environment. Well, I find that in a security operating center environment, there are three questions that need to be answered. What is happening on your network? What does it mean? And what should I do? Data analytics, coupled with events from your security sen sensors, can actually help the security operating center answer these questions. Because you're finding unwanted behavior in a, in a sea of like wanted behavior, behavior that's actually good, you're going to have a very high noise and low signal environment. What we need now is a holistic understanding of the problem. We need to be able to investigate quickly, right? make attribution, and then respond appropriately. Well, a lot of people think of uh, analytics as a combination of algorithms and math uh, against data producing insights. Uh, but I think a key takeaway here is that it's much broader than that. A uh, holistic approach here includes integrating the data, uh, involving human analysts, putting good and powerful tools in front of these analysts, and also the ability to share this information while maintaining your, your access controls. So this is Panathia's approach, and you know, we really think this is the, the way forward. As one of the so-called data science guy want to be, right? You want to work with the latest kind of technology. So when the PWC guy mentioned about financial services and the legacy of technology, it just sort of struck me that you know all these banks have, um, there's a huge opportunity for technology, for them to build up new technology and there will be a lot more opportunity uh, concerning data science when it comes to all these financial services. Data analytics has changed the problem of security from a backward detection problem to now as an early warning problem and this will enable uh, a better detection of security threats in the systems. I actually um, find the point made by Palantir very interesting in the sense that now vendors have to work very closely together to create a cyber mesh and that takes a lot of cooperation among vendors, suppliers and in the infrastructure and that creates a safer environment for everyone in the IT industry. For me, the session was revelatory. You got to hear from a lot of industry practitioners and how they are using deeper or more advanced things, ways to handle threats, cyber threats especially. So I like one of the speakers' highlight was that um, you only need, you cannot protect one incident. You need to protect against all the incidents, and you need to be right 100% of the time. Mm -hmm.